Julie, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I'm very curious to hear from you, you know, what you think some of the real advantages are of our accelerated virtual ways of working from a diversity and inclusion perspective. There's no doubting that we would never have chosen this path. But I do think of all the conversations I've had through my career of leaders saying, oh, we can't work from home. We can't have our people working remotely. All of a sudden we can in just about every industry, respecting there are obviously industries where this isn't possible. We have leaders, we have people working completely differently to how they've worked in the past. And so it's game changing. What we need to do now is find ways to capitalize on and keep people working in ways that best suit their lives. And that's, for, I think, a balance of time Time in the office, time at home, really understanding what works for individuals. Anything that leaders should be thinking about in terms of really creating that effective teaming and collaboration um, communities in their organizations? I think one thing we're going to have to be mindful of moving forward, as we start to have some people back in office environments, some people working from home, some people working in a hybrid model, is how we consciously include our teams. Because the corridor conversations that happen between the group that can access the office, the group at home won't be part of. The group that are at home may not be part of social interactions or casual interactions in the office. And so really needing to educate and upskill our leaders in understanding what inclusion means in a flexible work environment is going to be important. And for lots of organisations pre-COVID, we know that they weren't great at managing a part-time workforce, managing remote work or managing flexible work. So this is a great opportunity to really upskill and invest in our leaders and it's a forever investment. I don't think it's just the next six months. I think the way we work is going to change forever.